is my first day riding after physical therapy. If you follow me on TikTok, you know I kind of dislocated my hip. My legs are not the same length. It was really, really bad. It hurt really bad, but they popped my hip back into place and I'm gonna keep going to physical therapy. But now I'm going to try to ride again and I'm excited because I haven't in a while. Good morning. This fly mask gives him a terrible 90s um, middle part. There's also construction, it's so loud. I'll, I'll tell you again. So now I'm just gonna pull this blanket off and leave it in here so I don't have to put it by the trailer. The construction's in the indoors, so I actually don't know where I'm gonna ride. I take it and hang it over his little gate over here to try and keep it as clean as possible and not just throw it in the dirt. And I'm gonna put on this super cute halter that has his name on it. And I think it looks so good on him and it matches our black and white aesthetic very well. George. I start my grooming process by spraying his mane and tail with some Cowboy Magic Body Shine slash Detangler and let that sit while I brush him off. It has been a while since I've ridden, so I'm making sure he is nice and dusted off before I put the saddle on. And while I do this, I'll talk to you about kind of my injury a little bit. So I had a ton of inflammation in my SI joint that had caused my, I guess, hip to be very, very unaligned. It made one of my legs way longer than the other one, and it had been slowly happening over a few years. I just thought that it was lower back pain. Turns out I have been walking around with my SI joint out of place, and my legs, one just being longer than the other. Thanks to my scoliosis and my high pain tolerance, I thought it was just lower back pain and had no idea that I was so um, out of whack, I guess you would say. But the physical therapist popped her back into place and I'm going to continue to go to physical therapy. But I hope now that I am aligned, I will be able to ride better and feel better and be in way less pain. So I'm super excited about that. I'm really excited to be able to get back on today since I haven't ridden in like two weeks and normally I am at the barn every single day. I don't ride every day. Chester is a little too hard on himself for that and I normally go out and see him every day so it's really hard not to see him for about a week. I went out there one day and just waddled around to say hi to the horses because I missed them. My pain tolerance is so high I really just thought it was lower back pain but uh, no. <laughs> you can definitely tell that Chester has been off for two weeks as he is full of it. You also see that a little bit in our ride. He's also been biting everything. If you know what that might be, if it's just his quirky um, stall rest personality or if it's something else. He did get to go out quite a bit, but he hasn't been ridden. And it is showing a lot. Here he is trying to take the breast collar from me. And I fight it for a little bit before just finally giving in. And letting him hold it for a while. Because I knew he was not going to stop unless I did this. I hung on to it though. Because I didn't want the mohair to drop onto the ground and get covered and stuff. That's the one thing I don't like about mohair. Is how like grass and stuff sticks all over it. But I do really like this breast collar. I do get asked where it's from. It's from Twisted Mare Mohair. Not sponsored. I really only use this breast collar as a practice one because it fits my horses really big. These boots are brand new and I think they're pretty. They're from Classic. I won them at the American Qualifier and I think they're really pretty so I'm gonna try them out right now on him. I put front boots on him every ride. Sometimes he gets all four just because of how unpredictable he can be sometimes. We've worked through a lot but in case he takes off I want him to be protected. So I went live while doing all of the tacking up so if you ever want to see me live go follow my tiktok because that is where i will go live here he is in all of his tack looking so so pretty i do love all of my tack so much um i have a video where i talk about all of my tack if you want to know any brands specifically go check that out <laughs> Oh, 
I have my new Troxel in blue on for today's ride. Um, again, this is our first ride in a while. I may only walk and try it. I don't know. Um, we're just going to see what happens. Are you so excited? Here, Chester strikes again <laughs> by trying to steal the GoPro right off of my chest. And then immediately after, stealing the rings. I did a lot of walking since we've both been a little inactive for the past few weeks. I wanted to make sure he was good and loose before I asked for a trot or anything. And I wanted to see how my hip felt to make sure it wasn't going to hurt me too bad to ride. The... Construction people left, I guess, for like a little break, perfectly at the right time for me to ride in here. He is a little scared of all of the equipment, though, so I let him see it a few times to let him know it's not going to just come and kill him. If you notice that mark on Chester's hip, he is okay. It's healing well. He did it in the trailer. We don't really know how. We checked everywhere, but we really cannot figure out how or what he did to do that. Over to it. If you're so scared. It's alright. It took a long time of walking for him to stop being weird about the instruction equipment, but that is fine. I made sure he saw it with both eyes and just wanted him to get a good sniff, a good look. Sniff it. Why are we going towards it? You're so You're so weird. <laughs> And I thought it was really good for him to kind of change his environment and let him kind of have to figure it out and learn that just because something changed, he is not going to die. The reason I let him see it with both eyes is because a horse's brain is separate, so while they might be desensitized to one eye, the other eye might still think it's scary, so you have to make sure that you get both sides. And he was less scared on this side, actually, and he was really wanting to go. Now that he has kind of stopped reacting, I ask for a trot. I sit the trot on him. I want to collect a trot with a head down. I knew I probably wasn't going to get that today after um, our break. It's just going to be slowly getting back into it. He did really good though. This is a nice slower trot, especially for him.
When I get a trot that is close to what I want, I ask him to walk and reward him. I, it was not perfect, but I still gave him the reward because it was a lot better than what we started with. Then after a few steps of walking, I immediately go back into that slow trot so that the reward is very close in his mind. So he knows what I'm looking for. I like this trot, so I slow him back down to a walk and pet him again. After doing that a decent amount, that way I turn around and it's time to trot this way. Now, you might be looking at me and think I look absolutely insane, but this way he was wanting to be more forward, wanted to go a lot more, wanted to throw that head up, and I found if I'm not paying attention to him, well, if I'm not looking at him and constantly trying to see when he puts his head down or when he slows down this way, I think it helps because I can feel it better without thinking I see something and it somehow makes him a little bit calmer. I think he knows I'm not just staring him down. When I do that, it works for me. Um, if you don't have a very good sense of direction, you may not try it because <laughs> you are just staring at the ceiling. Here I ask for a nice stop and he does really good and then I turn and go the other way until I get a pretty decent lope. Uh, this was really good for our first ride back, I think. I wasn't even sure I was going to lope or if my body was going to let me, but I pushed through and I was able to lope both directions, which I was super happy about. Here this trot is a little more what I'm asking for. He is fighting me a decent amount, but I know after a few more rides we'll be back to where we were. Here I go back to a walk and pet him to let him know he's being super good for me. Here's where I ask him to look this way. You can see our um, departure was not very pretty. He was ready to run instead of just give me a lope. But that's fine. I'm just patient and work with him and get him to slow down. Um, I cannot tire him out. It is impossible. But I just work with him. The second he gives me any kind of speed reduction, I give him his head back. And we just do this for a little while until we get a nicer, smoother lope. Here's that stop with the GoPro point of view. Normally I only ask for one of these in our ride and I did only ask once for this one because I think it's pretty hard on their body and if I know the woe is there I don't want to constantly be brake checking him because that's pretty hard on his hawks. He also gave me a nice smooth lope on this side too so I was super happy with that. After I finish loping this way, I just break him down into a trot, and that is where his ride ends for today. I didn't want to do too, too much on him, 
Since it was also his first ride back, I didn't want to do too much without working back up to where we were. I walk him around just a little bit, pet him, tell him he did super, super good, and then that is where our ride ends for today. As soon as I get off, I immediately clip one side of the reins and loosen his saddle before I walk back to attack him at the trailer. Now that all the tack is off, I'm going to pick his hoofs and treat them for thrush. I'm going to put some no thrush because he looks possibly a little thrush. wasn't too bad. He was pretty hyped up as expected. He hasn't been ridden in two weeks. Um, it did hurt me a little bit, but I kept going because that's how I am. I'm going to give him a treat when he goes inside. And it's actually the opposite hip than the one I dislocated. So hopefully I didn't do it again, but I don't think I did. I think I'm just sore. And it wasn't too bad. We had to work around all of that construction stuff. But he did really good, especially for being so often cooped up when it's been raining. He was quite the character while saddling, but other than that, he did pretty good. So I'm gonna let him go outside and hang out for a little bit. Chin graze. Yeah. Chester was able to enjoy a good graze and got to stretch out good after our ride. I also caught Scout rolling and he got a little excited and Chester decided to come trotting at me to see what was going on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If I have earned your subscription, please subscribe. Okay, bye!